Hey guys, this is my hello, and we are about to fight against Rocket Executive Petro. In other words, there's some Rocket Executive who is imposing himself as a director, the director, and he has a very bad team. Bad both for him and for me, because he has six Pokemon, and all of them are coughings, except for one, but they're all coughings, and most of them have the same moves, except actually they're pretty easily leveled, so. This could be um, a bit fun, I guess. Let's have some fun with this then, shall we, Petro? Let's dance, Petro. Don't slush me, bitch. You're gonna poison me, aren't you? Oh, you did it. Nice. Woo! So, yes. We take care of that. Coffee. Coffee! S um, so, Petro. He was the same guy who, um... In the Rocket Headquarters. He was the same guy who... Um, you had to confront to get the Hail Giovanni password. You know, from... He's in the same room as that, um... He was the first, you know, the pathetic, you know... The rocket executive you had to fight in that headquarters. Blow up, blow up. Oh, you didn't blow up. Oh, you didn't go boom! Boom! Interesting, interesting thing about the remix I heard is that... In... Ooh! Hard to Gold is all sober. When you confront him in the Team Rocket hideout, he's disguised as Giovanni. That's pretty cool. Oh, you're lower the accuracy. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna use a move that never misses. <laughs> yeah. So there's that. Uh huh. Now let's see. Let's see. Yeah. So as I said, he is pretty much just coughing galore. So if this is monotonous, that's because it is. These rocket executives are pure dumbasses. Yeah. I mean, Petro was dumb enough to like, run into a table, so I guess he's not gonna had a bump in his head, so he decided, Duh, I am stupid, I already catch coffins, duh! I don't want to threaten him, I just want coffins! Coffins, 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 Eggins, 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 ooh! A coffin, 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 mushroomish, shroomish, okay, I'll stop. Hot, hot tamale, hot tamale, hot, hot tamale, whatever. Mangoes! Weevil. Okay, now he's gonna use his non, only non coughing. And I'm gonna send a storm, even though it's like, you know, it's, it'll be fine. So yeah, this is a wheezing. One thing I'm concerned is that, um, about this, this wheezing knows explosion, which is the strongest move ever. 250 base power. So if it explodes, it will kill itself, but it'll probably kill Storm too, I bet. And it's not, we're not off a good start because he lowered our accuracy, but, you know, 95% is good. Unlike in, you know, the first generation where one smoke screen is enough to screw you over for some godforsaken reason. Weird game mechanics. Anyway. Oh, you missed. Well, this wheezing is paraphused. See? This wheezing is paraphused. It's destroying itself. Come on, Storm! No, no, no. <sighs> Just to be safe, I'm gonna confuse you again. Oh, wow, confuse right hits, but not Surf, of course. It's like each move has its own. Well, I mean, each move does have its own accuracy, but confuse right and Surf have the same accuracy as Fusion. Uh huh, you missed, even though I'm smoke screened. Uh huh, never gonna surf on your butt. Is it reason does it have a butt? I mean, it's a thing the heads are. What the heck is that thing that the heads are attached to anyway? It's like. A butt? It's like their butt. Is it their butt, man? No explosions, yay! But he, seriously, what is that circle thing? Like, is it their butt? Did they share a butt? I mean, they must share a butt. I mean. Rockets, I mean, Pokemon must find a way to, like, you know, excrete, right? They must, you know, find some way to crap that stuff, you know, well, oh, okay, this is getting a bit too TM right now. I mean, too inappropriate. Let's use Pokemon and this new move. <laughs> ah, that animation. Vital part of my childhood. Very vital part of my childhood. Very, very, very vital part of my childhood. Part of my oh yeah, oh, shut up. This is wrong, you shut this coughing up. Yes. We win the day. 
who defeated Petro, or this unnamed rocket executive with six, five coughings and a wheezing? Loser. Okay, okay. I told you where he is. We get money. And he's still dressed up as a director. He loves clothes. He's such a real director. In the underground warehouse. Underground warehouse? How am I supposed to get there? Where do we know where it is? Is it the far end of the- Oh, underground. But I thought he'd get that far. He had to give us a key. Well, thanks. Yeah, thanks for the, you know. Thanks for the confidence boost. Alright, so I'll meet you back on the ground. I challenge you to a duel! Not now, Huey. I'm too busy saving the world here. I'm saving the world! Maybe you can help! That I'd like to brief your Pokemon up. Anyway, so. First of all, here's my lineup. And hopefully this goes well. Now, they said underground, but this douchebag is fucking away. What do we do? What is the second entrance, which the rockets have not taken care of to block? Convenient is convenient. Whatever. So yes, remember this passageway? Did I ever show you the door? Well, here's a door. No entry beyond this point. Oh, really? <laughs> Let's go inside. Let's go inside and explore the deep dark warehouse. Or the underground warehouse. The deep darkest part of Golden Rock Tunnel. And exclamation point! Who? Oh my god, it's him! Hold it! Hold it! I saw you, so I told you. Stalker! I don't need you on the foot while I take care of Team Rocket. Oh, you've been taking care of Team Rocket? Then why don't they take care of all those douches? I mean, losers! Wait a second. You beat me before, didn't you? That was just a fluke. But I repay my debts. And so, appropriate timing, even though we're taking, you know, trying to save the world, and I guess he's, you know, also trying to save the world somehow by, you know, fighting rockets. He, we're gonna battle, why not? Let's, you know, have a personal scruples and, you know, personal, like, you know, issues come, you know, first priority over saving the world. So, his Zubat has evolved into a Golbat. Of course, duh. You know, it's gonna evolve into, like, a, you know, Meganium or so whatnot. Real life. Anyway, so here's our rival, Marco, and his Golbat. And this guy knows Wing Attack, Confuse, Fuse Ray, and Bite. That's about it. So let's just Ice Punch this baby. Or. Baby? Dude, that's a dude. Whatever. That was easy. You know, this music is so cool. Now, he's about to use Sneasel. Sneasel, huh? That's an Orn. Now, Sneasel is a dark and ice type. You can find these in the ice cave in Pokemon Crystal. In Pokemon Gold and Silver, you find them way late in the game. This guy knows Faint Attack, which is a dark... Oh yeah, you know what Faint Attack is. Um, Quick Attack, Screech, and... Here? I forgot. Maybe. This is pretty attack oriented, even though its types are special. And this is probably the Pokemon that the rival, you know, Marco stole from the one guy in Seaman City. So this is probably that one rare Pokemon, you know, that one green haired bloke was complaining, I mean, showing off, and then boom, Marco struck. Because Marco is a douche. A douche, a douche, Marco is a douche. Meanwhile, it's been a long run since I had Ornu's Fury Cutter. Fury Cutter. That's a pretty bad move. It requires so much setup. Okay, so now it's gonna use Haunter since it's Gasly evolved. Listen at Oni Guma, because our Pokemon evolved too. This guy knows Shadow Ball, Curse, and Mean Nut. In other words, the only thing this guy can do against Onikuma is Curse and Mean Nook. And is it gonna. I. Okay, it's gonna do. It fails to do Curse? Oh, that's because I'm digging, right. Shut up, traffic outside of our apartment! Anyway. There is that. <laughs> and now he's gonna use Magnemite, which has not evolved, apparently. Fine. Now, this Magnemite knows. Mm. So shut up! Traffic! Sorry about that. 
This guy knows Sonic Boom, Thunder Wave, Super Sonic, and... I'm not sure if Boba Pete is right about this. I swear, like, some Pokemon have, like, only three entries, and... I mean, supposedly according to Boba Pete, yeah, Super Sonic is his only means of offense. You know, offense? I mean, must be on Thunder Shark, right? I mean, Bulbapedia, what the hell's going on? Bulbapedia. Psst. I mean, it's a good resource. Just, I don't know what's up with, you know, these Pokemon having, like, only one move. Like, hey, I'm a fully evolved Pokemon and I only know, like, two moves. Duh! Move. I am hella move deleter in Blackthorn City. If I'm not supposed to be there yet, Marco. And now he's gonna use Fralligator. Fralligator. The final evolution form of Totodile. This guy knows Bite, Scary Face, which will reduce your speed, Rage, and Water Gun. That's it. Water freaking gun. I mean, this guy can be tough. You know, make no mistake about that. Now, of course, you know, in this bro, by this stage, if he chose Totodash's disorder, then his grass starter, Chikorita, would have evolved all the way to, you know, Meganium from, you know, Bayleaf. However, if you chose Chikorita, the rival has, you know, Cyndaquil in his family, right? But since, you know, Kulava does not, you know, evolve into a much later level, he will still be using, you know, Kulava in this, you know, battle, so... Yeah... It takes a hell of a long while for Kulava to evolve. Or whatever. Let's perfuse this Frolicator. I wonder. Storm is probably. S okay, you're still faster than Frolicator, even though you've been scary for a few times. Probably this helps, I guess. A lot. Okay, perfusion. Perfusion! I swear, is that becoming like a catchphrase or something? Like. It's like. I don't know, like. Perfusion. What the hell is going on, man? Huh? I mean, I know you're pissed off at me for, like, you know, seeing a girlfriend and all, but come on. I'm the better man, of course, but we defeated Marco. Oh, yeah, I was really fucking to Marco, right? Why? Why do I lose? I have some of the toughest Pokemon. I didn't ease up on your gas. So, why do I lose? I don't get money. And some of them. I don't understand. Is what that last guy said true? That I don't treat Pokemon properly? Love. Trust. Are they really what I lack? Are they keeping me from winning? Huh. I just don't understand. But it's not going to end here. Not now. Not because of this. I will give them my dream of becoming the world's best Pokemon trainer. See you, loser. Alright. Be hitting up and all. Alright, so. Let's go on. And kick some rocket ass. I don't care if you're lost. You show up here, you're nothing but a victim. Wow, that's pretty intense, man. <laughs> that's pretty intense. You're nothing but a victim, dude. And this rocket grunt. Wait a minute. Yeah, whatever. And he has a level 27 Raditzer. Like, really, guy? Really? Your Raditzer has a level 27. Like, that's it. Like, even youngster Joey evolved this Radita. What's wrong with you? Yeah. Oh, grunts. Yeah, you think you're cool, huh? Oh, you think you're cool with your Radita, huh? With overgrown rats, you know? Now, you must have ice in your veins with this Team Rocket. Yeah, babe! Babe? What are you people calling dudes babes? Anyway, so, you see the switches on the walls, right? Don't press them yet. Here's a rocket. Open one shutter, another closes. But you can get what you want. Cause you can't always get what you want. So here's another rocket. Ugh. Ooh, a muck. And here's Skarmory. So, let's see here. Muck is probably good to do hard and that's it. I mean, that's all I can do. That's not from Pound. Wanna defeat Muck? See ya.
Blow yourself up. Yeah! Ha 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 